Hello everyone, welcome to this live video, the first live video I've made in quite some time now, a few weeks. My name is Owen Fox and today I want to talk about appreciation, the real meaning of appreciation and complimenting others. In some of my videos I tell like real life stories where I'm telling people like nice, nice hat, nice scarf, nice smile, nice observation, like lots of different funny compliments, nice shoes. Nice everything, nice anything, nice help. Even if someone like help me, I even say like nice help. I like it really usually conjures up a really good smile in people when you compliment others. And for me, the real meaning of complimenting others. Actually, let me work up to it. The the, the secondary um outer surface reason for complimenting others and effect positive effect is. You, you, you create a, a bridge, a bond between people and you create like you help remove hostility and like bad feelings or upsets and you help like create a, a bridge again, like a bond. You, you get rid of a barrier and you create a, a bridge again and it connects and it helps everyone to feel good and happy. It's like a little party, you know, <laughs> but everyone, that's the second area. It doesn't affect the real reason why why it's good to uh, um, compliment or um, start the sentences with like I like this, I like or nice and then you follow on with a positive focused is that it actually tunes you into the vibration of an expanded state of being, your vibration and energy your energy it expands, like you feel better, you raise your vibration in the moment so it's like when you're thirsty and you drink you feel good, if something's good happens and you've reached a certain state of well-being well, obviously, well, not maybe not obviously, but we are vibrational beings. We're like infinite beings, you know. We're energetic and vibrational beings first, beyond the physical. First and foremost, before you can hear, before you can see, there's energy. And we are vibrate and every all energy has an oscillation and a frequency. So if you want to, what enlightenment is, it's not a, it's not a certificate like you're enlightened, stamp, you're all. Enlightenment is, a, is, a, is temporary. It's a state of receiving. It's getting into the receptive mode in life. It's that moment where you feel on form, in the groove, like in the zone, like things are clear, you're inspired, you're creative, it's fun, you're happy, you're ex excited, you're exhilarated, you're optimistic, you're positive, you're hopeful, you're, you're expectant of good things and you're so confident and you're happy and you're having a great time and you're feeling peace and love in your heart and joy and blissfulness. That's what enlightenment is. Enlightenment is an ongoing, constant process. And for every teacher ever in existence, they were never always in this state of well-being. Of course they weren't. But what they allowed, what they did was they allowed themselves to become more and more back and back and back again in any particular moment in the receptive mode of this elevated, expanded, really good feeling state of well-beingness. Where you're very, very powerful creator and co-creator. So what when you focus on something to appreciate, you actually are allowing yourself to receive appreciation. You are becoming appreciative. So, um, you know, like I said in another video, because um, I love to teach and share what I learn and what I like and excited about learning, etc. And what I've also incorporated too already, like integrated um, for the most part. Um, everything has positive and negatives in this world. Like everything... There's goods and bads about everything, everybody, every job, every home, every work, every career, every relationship, every person. <laughs> we all have positives and negatives, good pros and cons, good traits, negative traits. There's always a good and bad in every little thing. But the thing is, we are, with our free will, we can choose to focus on the positive or focus on the negative and bring our attention to it time and time again. That's what focusing is. Mm -hmm. So when we bring our, when we learn to tune ourselves, vibrationally speaking, like a radio dial, we are becoming way more aware, conscious, deliberate creator and a deliberate focuser. That's where it begins with focus and beliefs and perception. Everything is about your beliefs and perception. So let's say you're working a certain job or you live in a certain place. You can either have a the belief and a perception that is really bad and look at all the negatives. And, uh, or you can, if someone like, let's say, acts a certain way, you can either perceive them and have a belief about them that they're being really unfriendly and not nice. Or you can perceive them and understand and have the belief and the knowledge that they're hurting and they're out of alignment themselves. They're not in a, in a state of enlightenment. enlightenment. And then we can have more love, peace and compassion. We can have our vibration more chosen by ourselves instead of the powerless recipient of another person's vibration. So that's what being a deliberate co-creator is. It's about you being in the receptive receiving mode to attune and 
receive from your higher, truer state of consciousness, your truer, like elevated state of expandedness, the truer, like timeless life from the jar beyond the physical. And you get to basically overpower slash dominate your sl like slash b your environment with your vibration in a, in, in a loving, compassionate, harmonious, nurturing way instead of being the powerless victim of your circumstances and then retelling that that, that victim story over and over again, which is again focusing on the past with a certain perception and belief, which is disempowered and you're the victim and it creates misery in your existing life today and now especially. Because life doesn't consist of today, it consists of now. And in every now we have the ability to make a decision and to choose something that tunes us to our higher self, to our, our deeper state of wellness and happiness and peace or not. So that's all I really want to say. So making comp giving compliments and um, focusing and choosing on something to appreciate is about attuning ourselves. It's not about making someone else feel good, which is the effect also. Typically, everyone loves a compliment. What everyone loves is a piece of your positive focusing, your positive attention. That's what we all love to receive. We all love to receive love slash happiness like positive focus and attention. That's why everyone, when they at, meet at the beginning, they, they get on so well in a relationship because you're deliberately looking for things and expecting and focusing on the positive traits and you're, you're looking at the best, you're seeking for the best in them, you're looking for the best and you're fishing for the good things in them, you're, you're just focusing on the things to appreciate and to be grateful for. And then over time, you know, you get to see see the, your partner more and you've got more things that distract you if you're not well practiced, that then your, your, your focus swerves more on the negatives. So that's how you can keep your relationships more. In a, <clears throat> a successful relationship just depends on both people's ability to stay tuned, to focus and to be aware of their perceptions and beliefs and to become aligned in their center again of this really good place I'm talking about. Um, to re-enlighten themselves so to speak whatever words you want to use words don't even matter it's about the meaning i'm talking about the vibration the energy the understanding of what i'm talking about here and that's the same in every single situation in life so this is this video covers a whole lot of topics including even how to have a kick-ass romantic relationship and how to prepare for your soulmate any type of whatever label you want to use it i'm just going to call it a kick-ass relationship because that's what it's really all about beyond all labels and definitions and beliefs there's vibration like people become so attached to labels definitions words and beliefs it's it's just crazy man it's ridiculous it's ridiculous in a, in a, in a funny way in, a, in an amusing way what we do to ourselves with our mind eh? it's hilarious you know it's all good though it's all very good fun and games but you know hope this video helps and uh, yeah be sure to subscribe and like if you like this button and subscribe for more videos on body mind spirit holistic living and relationships communications and health and all sorts of stuff and if you want any one-to-one -one uh, help, check in my links, contact me. And um, yeah, hope you have a beautiful day. Have great fun and become a conscious creator. And that's all I can really say. So thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> I'm not really happy always with this, by the way, because I'm like always going up and down too. I just get excited making videos. So in my ordinary daily life, I'm less jubilant typically, but I have my moments like everybody, like as described in this video. So this is what I'm learning. This is what I'm practicing. So. Just to be honest with you, don't want you to think I'm always over the moon because I'm not. But I'm working on it to be more. <laughs>